Dave Hadley of Soup is performing surgery, but he's not a doctor nor a biologist. No, Dave's just an average Joe with a family that's quite fond of fish. Uh, we love to catch it. Uh, we love to put it on the plates. Uh, I've never bought a fish at the store. We're at the Souk Salmon Hatchery. These folks are volunteering their time, spending the day marking 40,000 baby fish by making a small cut on the adipose fin. It's kind of nice to um, be able to do our part so we can still keep fish. But would you give up your day off to mark fish? There's plenty of salmon in the Souk River now, right? Well, let's go back in time, about 30 years, when it became apparent that something had to be done if the Souk River was ever going to host salmon again. 1980-81, basically one, one Chinook uh, came back to the river. Now, you don't have to be a biologist to understand that this uh, species was basically extinct. Urban development, logging, overfishing, made it nearly impossible for the salmon to survive. But just in the nick of time, a bunch of nature lovers formed the Souk Salmon Enhancement Society and built this hatchery. We want to basically mark them and to identify those other fish that were raised in the hatchery. So whenever those fish come back, then three, four years from now, uh, we can figure out what the percentage is of fish that, that uh, come back from a natural spawn that also takes place, of course, in the Souk River. You ever try and hold a tiny fish? Not easy. It's quite the circus act to try to get the, to get the fin clipped. So the fish are sedated before they get clipped. The uh, adipose fin uh, has proven to be uh, a, a redundant uh, uh, limb, basically, for the uh, for those fish, and uh, the removal of them will not impact them at all. These are the ones that have now totally recovered from their little surgery. While it's great to have so much volunteer help, there are costs involved. It takes about $30,000 a year to keep the hatchery going, so the society holds fundraisers, like barbecues. Their biggest fundraiser is coming up in August, the Consultants Invitational Fishing Derby. I can't even imagine how the West Coast would look like without salmon, with impacts on whales, seals, eagles, bears, forests. So we have to realize the value of these resources, and we as communities have to all get together, and uh, every one of us chip in what we can. In suit, Working Dan's Beat, I'm Dan Kong.